We're going to invite Brother Chip from Missoula, Montana to come speak the word of God to us this morning. God laid a burden upon his heart, so we are going to support him this morning. And whatever God has given him, may we open our hearts to good brother. And before God, we have confidence in him this morning. So we are praying for God to use him as he sees fit. We're going to ask Brother Alex Robinson if he'll pray for our brother as he preaches this morning. Help us, dear God. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. Y'all didn't need to put a sign out front telling me where I was. I knew where I was when I walked through the front door. Amen. I got some brothers here. Amen. I got some sisters here. And I thank God for the work he's doing. Amen. I appreciate every one of you. From the depths of my heart, I love you. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. You pray for us this morning. Amen. You pray for us. Because there's a, a deep burden upon my heart. And I can't not let it go. I can't, I can't not let the Spirit, amen, uh, uh, show us. Amen. Show me. Lead me forward. Amen. God is doing something. Amen. If you're denying that, you're blind this morning. Amen. You're blind this morning if you can look. Amen. At the messages that have gone forth. Amen. To the, to the saints that have been crying out. Amen. To the prayers that I've been hearing. Amen. You cannot say that God is not working. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Sometimes, you know, I, I, I think of Judges 6 and Gideon back there. Amen. I'll I tell you what, I can relate to that story. Yeah. Amen. Just hiding behind the wine press, trying to get a little sustenance, trying to go on with my life. Amen. Trying to, you know, get a little something. Amen. Wondering. Amen. Where's the power of God? Yeah. Amen. Where's, where's his people? Where's, where's, uh, what, what's, what's, what's happening in this day and age in, in, the, in the spiritual realm? Amen. You begin to talk about it. Amen, and, and uh, you know, the, many people, they don't like, amen, that kind of questioning. They don't like, amen, that kind of questioning, amen, but I tell you what, amen, Gideon questioned God. Amen, he said, Lord, where are your miracles? Amen, where, 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 where are we now? I mean, what, what happened, amen, to you leading us through, amen, the, the, the Red Sea? What happened to you leading us through the wilderness? What happened to all that? Amen. Some will get up and say it's, uh, to ask those questions is pestilent fit throwing. Amen, and I'll tell you what. Amen. God expects his people, amen, to seek him out. Yes. Amen. He expects that. Yes. Amen. He, he expects it. Amen. Out of us. Let's turn our Bibles this morning. Amen. We're not preaching out of, uh, out of uh, Judges 6, so we could. Amen. We're preaching out of Jeremiah this morning. Amen. Jeremiah 2. Amen. Amen. You pray for us. Amen. Jeremiah 2, and verse 2, it says, Go and cry in the ears of Jerusalem, saying, Thus saith the Lord, I remember thee. I remember thee. Amen. The, in the kindness of thy youth, the love of thine espousals, 
when thou wentest after me in the wilderness. Amen. In a land that was not sown. Amen. I, I remember that. Amen. What God is saying is I remember when you were in this with your whole heart. I remember, amen, when you sought me with everything you had. I remember, amen, where, 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 where uh, uh, the world wasn't enough. Amen, Egypt wasn't enough. I remember when you cried out in Egypt. Amen, I remember that. Amen, where's that cry today? Amen. Amen. Israel, verse 3, was holiness unto the Lord and the firstborn of his increase. All that devour him shall offend. Evil shall come upon them, saith the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, and all the families of, the, of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, what iniquity have your fathers found in me? What have I done wrong? Amen. That they are gone far from me. And have walked after vanity and are become vain. Neither said they, where is the Lord that brought them up out of the land of Egypt that led us out of the land, uh, led us up to, or excuse me, led us up out of the land of Egypt that led us through the wilderness, through the land of deserts, of pits, through a land of drought. And of the shadow of death, through a land that no man passed through, and where no man dwelt. And I brought you into a plentiful country, to eat the fruit thereof, and the goodness thereof. But when ye entered, ye defiled my land, and ye made mine heritage an abomination. The priest said not, where is the Lord? And they that handle the law knew me not. The pastors also transgressed against me. And the prophets prophesied by Baal and walked after things that do not profit. Wherefore, I will yet plead with you, saith he, Lord, or saith the Lord, that with your children's children I will plead. For Pass over the isles of, of Kittim, and see, and send to Kedar, and consider diligently, and see if there be such a thing. Hath a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods, but my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. Amen. 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 First off, I'd like to point out this verse back here in verse 7. It says, I brought you to a plentiful country. Yeah. Amen. You don't have to read very many scriptures. Amen. To realize that God deals bountifully with his people. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He deals bountifully. Amen. With his children. Yeah. Amen. Because he, he loves you. He wants you to make it. Amen. And, and, and if we look with an honest heart at the current situations, the current spiritual plane, as it were, amen, we can honestly say that for the most part, amen, there's not much bounty. Amen. As far as spiritual experiences are concerned. Amen. If we're being honest. Amen. If we're being honest, we can, we can, we can just say, amen, from uh, the, the lack of effect, amen, uh, the preaching does. We can, we can say by the lack of the fruit, amen, that we are, we are uh, spiritually poor. Amen. We are spiritually poor. Amen. If we think, amen, for one instant, amen, that we are right where God wants us to be, I believe God's taking us further. Amen. God wants us to go further. Amen. He does not want us, amen, to just uh, accept, amen, the current climate. Amen. 
Men and women will say, oh, just, just have faith in God. Just trust God. Amen. But listen, we can't trust God. Amen. If he has clearly told us the solution to the problem. Amen. And if we aren't being obedient to his solution. Amen. If we aren't, if we aren't yielding ourselves to his plan. Amen. We can't have faith in God. Amen. amen. Because we have then, amen, have faith in ourselves instead. Amen. At that point, we, we as a people, amen, are, are, are pursuing our own lusts. Amen. And these next couple scriptures, amen, are going to bring that out even, even more clearly. Amen. He says, go, in verse 10, he says, go and go look at the world real quick. Amen. They, they have not changed their gods. They, they've not changed. But here, amen, you all, amen, my, my children, Israel, amen, has forsaken me. And they haven't just forsaken me. Amen, they've forsaken me. Uh, they've forsaken what works, what is real, what is true. They've forsaken what is uh, bountiful, amen, for what is not. Amen. Amen. Verse 12. Be astonished, O ye heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be ye very desolate, saith the Lord, for my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me from the foundation, or they have forsaken me, amen, the, the fountain of living waters, amen, and have hewed them. Out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Amen. Amen. Our thought this morning, amen, is can we hold water? Amen. What, what, are, what are we doing here? Amen. What, what, what are we doing here? What is the, uh, what is the direction here? Amen. Listen, there comes a point where God has been faithful. Listen, th these messages have not just been recently preached. Amen. I was told, amen, of a young man uh, back over in Montana. Amen. Uh, someone I've never really met. Amen. That started to preach along these lines. Amen. And the ministry set him down. Amen. He, he had a true vision. I believe it. Amen. He had a true vision. He had a, a true direction. A, a, a God had shown him something. Amen. And, and men and women, they, they set him down. Amen. And I tell you what, amen, with the moment you be, become disobedient, it's not that they didn't hear the truth. Amen. It's that they, re they rejected the truth. Amen. It, it's not that, amen, they just went off on, on their own. No, they replaced truth with something else. Amen. They replaced it with something else. Amen. They dug themselves a cistern. Amen. And they, and they began to fill it with water. Yes. Amen. They, what is water? Amen. I'd like to make a little analogy here. Amen. If we were to turn to Revelation, amen, 17, what is the great horse sitting on? Oh, yeah. right. Amen. It's many waters. Yes. Amen. It's many waters. Amen. And what, what, what is God talking here? They're, they're trying to fill this thing. They're trying to fill it with people. Yes. Amen. They're trying to fill it with people. Amen. They, they, they're trying, amen, to, to get men and women unto themselves so they can have an appearance of holiness, an appearance of, of, uh, of truth, an appearance, amen, of God working. Amen. But I tell you what, it is not enough. Amen. It is not enough. Amen. I tell you what, men and women, amen, today go to these places and they pour themselves into it. They pour themselves into the service and they don't get any return on it. Amen. It'll, it'll bleed you dry. It doesn't hold water. Amen. It doesn't hold water. It can't water the sheep. Amen. It can't, it can't help you. It can't, it can't bring life to you. Amen. You'll pour and you'll pour and you'll pour, pour. Amen. And it won't do any good. Amen. Because, amen, it doesn't hold water. Amen. The truth. Amen. It may be truth, but it's missing. Amen. The life. Amen. The Amen. Amen. Listen, saints of God. 
Amen. These are perilous times. Amen. Because, amen, men and women in this day and age have no clue. Amen. The, the, the spiritual strength. Amen. That, that, co- that fellowships and congregations, amen, are leeching from them. Amen. They're not helping them. Amen. That's why. Amen. Uh, the Bible tells us. Amen. Amen. I forget where. Amen. But come out of her, my people, and be not a partaker of her sins. Amen. Amen. Because, amen, there will come a point where you don't have any more to add. Amen. You don't have any more to pour in. Amen. And what do you become? Amen. You become a valley. Amen. Of dry bones. Amen. Amen. And listen. I believe I'm in the presence of some that will not accept, amen, anything less, amen, than the pure, amen, Holy Ghost, amen, amen, and the pure word of the Lord, amen, amen, that won't accept anything anything less, amen, than getting their soul filled, amen, every single service, amen, I'm tired, amen, of hitting this. Amen, I'm tired. Amen, of going to service. Amen, and and you're trying to get a little bit. Amen, and you're trying to to, to seek God. Amen, and you find you're the only one. Amen, that's trying to pour anything in. You find, amen, that they're just leeching off of you. Amen. Amen, come on out. Come on out, amen. There comes a point where you don't have anything left to give. Amen, there comes a point. Amen. Where you need to leave. Amen. For your own sake. Amen. Where you need to leave for your own soul. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Thank God. Amen. But that requires a price. Amen. Amen. You all all remember how John, when he took the little book. Amen. Amen. It tasted good. Amen. It was truth. Amen. It tasted good. But it costs something. Amen. Amen. We heard a little bit, amen, about the persecutions of leaving this morning. Amen. I thank the Lord. Amen. Because that goes right along. Amen. With the message. Amen. Amen. Let's turn. Amen. To Daniel. Amen. Daniel, the third chapter. Amen. I thank God for persecution. (laughs) Amen. I thank God. Amen. It's all right. Amen. You're not alone there. Amen. It, it, it is okay. Amen. To be persecuted. Amen. For the gospel's sake. Amen. It, it is 100% okay. Amen. It might hurt. You might cry some tears. Amen. But it's all right. Amen. Because through that persecution, amen, you're going to see Jesus. Amen. You're going to see God close, more clearly. Amen. Than you've ever seen him. Amen. You're going to get a vision. Amen. Through that time. Amen. Of what God expects out of you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Lord, help us this morning. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. I just would like to say for a minute, I've never been in a meeting like this before. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. 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 I'm I'm looking forward to what God has in store. Amen. Amen. I believe. Amen. For an instance. Amen. That the Bible. Amen. Was leading us astray when he said, I have not seen nor ear heard. Amen. 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 Thank the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Verse 13, Daniel 3. Amen. Then Nebuchadnezzar. Amen. Y'all remember this story. Amen. These ones wouldn't bow. Amen. They wouldn't bend. Amen. They realized that thing was false. Amen. They knew it wouldn't hold no water. Amen. Amen. Whatever. Amen. You could kill us. Whatever. Amen. At least our soul's going to be filled. Amen. From God. Amen. It's all right. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. See verse 13. Amen. Thank the Lord. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage, oh, they're going to be angry. They're going to be angry. Amen. I don't care. Amen. 
Amen. I actually kind of feel for him a little bit. Amen. Because deception like that will take you somewhere. And it's not good. Amen. You realize all that effort and all that anger was for nothing. Amen. Then Nebuchadnezzar in his rage and fury commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true? O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up. Amen. Amen. We've seen a lot of imagery. Amen. We've seen a lot of... We've seen a whole lot of imagery. Amen. Listen. Amen. The spirit is subversive. It's very, very deceptive. Amen. Listen. It's hardest when you're preaching to, you know, about a church of God that has become Babylon. Amen. Because men and women believe that they're doing what's right. Amen. They're, they're legitimately confused. Amen. And, and, and God sends strong messages to break that confusion. Amen. Amen. That's what that's for. It, it may not feel good at the time. Amen. But, but God sends a strong message. Amen. To break that confusion. Amen. To, to set it clear. Amen. And the problem is, amen, that many, amen, in this day and age are, are so blinded. Amen. Because they've given so much to the to the system. Amen. That that they can't go forward. They can't. They can't. It's almost like they can't even receive the truth anymore. Amen. And it hurts my heart. Amen. Especially. Amen. Especially when it reaches into the realm of family. Amen. To your to your, your your brothers and sisters. Amen. As Zaytse uh, grew up with. Amen. When it reaches deep. Amen. Like that. Amen. But listen, amen, for the system to truly fall, amen, for for it to truly be desolate, you got to come out. Amen. Amen. Listen, listen, they might not be able to see while you're still there holding it up. Amen. They, they, They might not be able to see it, amen, until it becomes just a little bit drier. Amen. Listen, amen. They try, to, they try to get you, try to make you feel like you're responsible. Like, like, you, like you are the one uh, that, that's going to help them get out of this situation. Amen. Like you're going to be uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, 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 the fountain in the, in the dry desert. But listen, it, it's completely wrong, that whole idea. Amen. I was talking to, to one, and, and, and they said, I'm with you. And I don't want you to be with me. I, I don't want you, amen, to be with me. I don't want your, your, your spiritual system built on me. I, I don't want that. Amen. I want, amen, the whole system to be built up. Amen on the Holy Ghost. Amen in the work of God. Amen. So, amen, that when someone leaves. Amen, it's not desolate. Amen. Amen. Listen, in the church of God, it doesn't matter who goes where, where God calls somebody. Amen. If God is there, if God is blessing the situation, you shouldn't have anything to worry about. Amen. It, 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 it's plain and simple. Amen. Amen. But that's what the Bible means when it says she set up on, on, on many waters. She set up on people. Amen. She's supported by people. Amen. Amen. We need to get this. Amen. Down in our hearts. Amen. We need to realize that we cannot help. Amen. When God has left. Amen. We, we, can't, we can't help when God has left. Amen. Especially when, amen, you, you begin to, to speak about where God's leading you. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Amen. And then some, some trial comes. Amen. Some persecution comes. Amen. Because they weren't ready for that. Amen. They weren't prepared for that. Amen. And, and, and you know what? They will fight you. Amen. I was told, amen, that we'll pray against you. All right. All right. Whatever. 
I don't really care. God, God's talking to my heart. I'm not, I'm not doing this in myself. Amen. You can't, you can't refute the word of God. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to go against that. Amen. You, you better have a, a mighty, mighty strong season of prayer and fasting. Amen. If you're going to change God's mind on where he's leading his people. Amen. And, 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 the, and the worst part is, it's, it's like they're trying to get you to accept the conditions. Just go back to sleep. Don't, don't trouble us. Don't disturb us. Amen. Don't, 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 don't touch us. Amen. Just worship the image. Amen. Amen. Listen, God has so much more for us. Amen. We're getting there. We're getting there. Bear with me. Amen. Amen. Hey, listen, it's, it's actually only 1030 in Montana. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. Thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh, bless the, bless the Lord. Amen. This is good. I'm going to borrow me a, a box of t- tissues here. All right. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm a weep, weepy speaker. I can't believe what God's done for me. Amen. I'm still astounded sometimes. Amen. Listen, the old brother Jip, you didn't want to know him. Amen. And I trust you want to know the, 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 the new brother Chip, the God's, the God's made. Amen. But I know for a fact the old one, amen, you wouldn't have cared. Amen. Much for him. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. Verse 14, Nebuchadnezzar. Amen. Actually, yeah. Yeah, verse 14, that's where we left off. Amen. Nor worship the golden image which I have set up. Verse 15, now if ye be ready, that at the time that ye hear, amen, the cornet, the flute, the harp, the sackbut, psaltery, dulcimer, and all kinds of music, you fall down, amen, and worship the image, amen, amen. I've heard some of those sounds, and it's kind of hard to worship, amen, which I have made, made well, he says, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour in the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Amen. Let me introduce you. Amen. Let, let me introduce you. Amen. Amen. Listen, governments, amen, have toppled because of the God of Israel. Amen. Listen, amen. Religious organizations, amen, have crumbled. Amen. Because of the God of Israel. Amen. I tell you what. Amen. Let me introduce you. Amen. To the one that will deliver his people. Amen. Let me introduce you. Amen. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not even careful to answer thee. Amen. We're not even careful. Amen. What commitment? Amen. Listen, faith is something that you, sometimes you got to count. You, you can't count the cost of faith sometimes. So, sometimes it might require more than you even know. Right. But if you trust God and you have faith in God, it doesn't matter. Right. You're just willing to go all the way. Amen. Right. Amen. Listen, listen. The saints of God have counted an unknowing cost. Amen. For this treasure that we have in earthen vessels. Amen. It doesn't matter how high God wants to take me. Amen. It doesn't matter. Amen. What I might lose in the process. Amen. There is nothing. Listen, we sing that song, I love to serve my Jesus. Amen. Amen. We sing that song, uh, number 300. Amen. It says, and I love to follow Jesus. Gladly counting all but dross. Amen. Listen, there comes a point where you're just all in. Whatever. I, I, I don't care the cost. Amen. I don't care. Amen. If it costs my life. Amen. My livelihood, my family, my friends, it doesn't matter. 
Amen. Because I'm invested in this 100%. Amen. Wherever God wants to lead me. Amen. Amen. That's, that's the kind of consecration these ones had here. Amen. Amen. I'm not just talking about, you know, living as some kind of monk in the flesh. No, I'm talking if God leads you somewhere. Amen. You let go of some things and you go. Amen. Amen. We do not, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. Amen. Amen. Listen, God is looking for people that have that kind of confidence. Amen. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury. Amen. Even, even more than he was. Amen. Probably turned and beat red. And, amen. That's all right. Amen. And the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You see, they, they, had, a, they, they had a standing. Amen. In that Babylonian system. They, were, they, they had a standing there. Amen. They, they, they were a part of that. Amen. But his visage, visage was changed. Amen. When he realized that they weren't with him. Oh, Lord. When, when, when he realized they weren't with him. Amen. 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 All right. Verse 18. But if not, be it known to thee. Listen, God doesn't have to deliver us. But be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Amen. Listen. Amen. These ones are facing death. Amen. But they had spiritual life. Amen. They knew that God already had them delivered. They, they, they knew that they were being obedient. They were, they were consecrated. They were going forward. Amen. Amen. That's where our confidence comes from. Amen. Our confidence has got to be in nothing less than the voice of God leading us. Amen. 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 If not, it's all right. If I die for this, it's okay. Amen. Amen. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury. And the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake... And commanded that they should be, they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it wants to be heated. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army. Amen. Listen, man has no power. Amen. The mightiest of them ha have no power. Amen. To bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Amen. They're best speakers. Amen. They're, they're, they're the, the best thing they got. Amen. To, 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 to put some bondage on you. Amen. To, to bind you. Amen. Amen. But listen, they're not fighting these, these ones. Amen. They're fighting God. Amen. Amen. Listen. Amen. The most mighty man of his army to bind them. To bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Sorry, I'm having trouble seeing my words here. Amen. And to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats and in their hosen, in their hats. Listen, there's a reason the Bible mentions that they were thrown in with their clothes on. Amen. We're going to get to that. Amen. Amen. And uh, th their other garments and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king had commanded, the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceeding hot, that the flame of the fire flew, uh, slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound in the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Amen. I think the Lord's scripture doesn't end there. Amen. Then Nebuchadnezzar 
Amen. Listen, it doesn't matter how hot that fire of persecution gets. Amen. They, they, they did. Amen. Oh, what a price. Amen. They, they, they just lost. Amen. They're best fighters. Amen. Amen. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace. Or excuse me. We jumped a couple of verses. My apologies. Amen. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astounded. Amen. And rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? Then answered, they answered and said to the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men. Amen. Amen. Listen. I don't just see those three men in the fire. Amen. But I see, amen, the Son of God with them. Amen. I see some power with them. Amen. I see, amen, something I've, I've never seen it before. Amen. The glory of God with them. Amen. 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 It doesn't stop there. It does not stop there. Amen. He said, See here, what verse were we on here? 25. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt. Amen. No hurt. Amen. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Amen. 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 I would like to focus a little bit on that word loose. Amen. The only thing that was burned up in the fire. Amen was their bonds, brother. Amen. It was their bonds. Amen. Amen. It doesn't matter. Amen. What they say about you. It doesn't matter what kind of bonds they put on you. It doesn't matter any of that stuff. Amen. But listen, in that fire of persecution, amen, when Jesus Christ shows himself to you, amen, in that fire, you, you get loose. Amen. Amen. I've never felt so li- I've never had such liberty, saints of God. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. God. Amen. Is doing something. Amen. God is liberating his people. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. Listen, you can throw what you want. Amen. You can try to discount it. Amen. But God is working. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. And we're not going to finish out this chapter. Amen. But we're going to turn instead. Amen. Amen. Listen. When men and women begin to stand. Amen. With God. When men and women, when the saints, amen, realize where they're at. Amen. When they realize and take that stand for the truth. Amen. For the spirit of God and nothing less than the spirit of God. Amen. When, when saints begin to take that, sa- that stand. Amen. That's when men and women see their condition. Amen. That's, that's when they begin to see. Amen. The son of God. Amen. That's, that's when they begin to wake up. Amen. Listen, we won't turn there. Amen. But in Revelation 3. Amen. It, the, the, It's boggling to me that men and women can uh, discount the conditions of the church and call it normal. Amen. When Revelation 3 clearly is calling us higher. Amen. Verse 14 through 22. Amen. It's clear to me. Amen. And the most concerning part about those verses. Amen. Is that, amen, they have no clue. It says they're naked and have no idea. They're poor and miserable, have no clue. No clue. What their religious system has called, what was, has taken from them. Amen. Amen. And listen, I've heard words. Like everybody has these problems. But saints of God, what, how does that make it right? 
Right. How, how does that make us any better? If we, if everybody goes to hell, I mean, I don't, I don't get that. Right. Amen. We've got to take some responsibility. Amen. Amen. We've got to take some responsibility for those verses. Amen. Amen. And it's more than just Revelation 3. As I've been, as the Lord has opened my eyes. Amen. As I'm reading the Bible. Amen. I can see how this, this message, amen, has been all throughout the Bible. Amen. From the beginning, amen, to the end. Amen. Listen. Amen. Come up to where God wants you. Amen. Come up to where God wants you on a spiritual plane. Amen. On a spiritual plane. Come up to where God wants you. Amen. Listen, you'll see some things. Amen. Some things that were acceptable won't be acceptable anymore. Amen. Some things, amen, that were, that were all right, amen, won't be all right anymore. Amen. Come up higher. Glory be to God. Amen. Let's turn back here. Amen. To the book of Exodus. Oh, Lord. Amen. I won't keep you too much longer. We're going to close here. Amen. I'm not typically a long-winded preacher. Amen. But I do love the Lord. Amen. Amen. I love what he's doing. Amen. Amen. All right. Exodus 3. Amen. Actually, let's jump back to Exodus 2. Amen. Exodus 2. Lord, help us. I believe. Never mind, saints. I apologize. It is in Exodus 3. All right. Maybe I got some pages stuck together. Amen. All right, verse 11 of Exodus 2, actually. My apologies. We'll get there one day. Amen. Amen. And it came to pass in those days when Moses was grown, amen, that he went out unto his brethren and looked on their burdens. And he spied an Egyptian smiting an Hebrew, one of his brethren. Amen. We all know the rest of that story, but I would like to point out there come a point, amen, where Moses was no longer content, amen, with the spiritual sleep. Amen. It, it was no longer content in Pharaoh's house. If we were to return over to Hebrews uh, 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 10 or 11, I think, 11, amen, it would read, we, we would read how that he wasn't content to partake of the sins of, of Pharaoh's house. Yeah, amen. He, he wanted something more. He wanted to serve the Lord. Yes. Amen. And I believe he was moved with compassion. Amen. For his brethren. Yes. Amen. Because they were in this condition. Yes. Amen. Listen, we're not trying to hurt nobody. Right. Amen. amen. We're hoping. Amen. To achieve. Amen. Some vision. Yes. Amen. Of, of the condition. Amen. We, 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 it moves my heart to see. Uh, saints of God, amen, okay, amen, with going to service week after week, amen, for, for, for just the dregs, amen, just, just a little, a little nugget or whatever, amen, I believe God has so much for his people, amen, if we were to turn uh, to, uh, I believe it's Luke, the 15th chapter in the 31st verse in the product, story of the prodigal son, the second son, I've always wondered, Amen. He, his, his heart was in an interesting place. Amen. Upset that his brother had come home. Amen. And there was rejoicing over it. Amen. And, and the father's words have always stuck with me. Son, thou, thou, thou has always been with me. All that I have is yours. Amen. Why, why didn't you reach for it? Why, why didn't you, why didn't you, you, you reach for it? The, the inheritance is yours. Amen. It is yours. Why didn't you reach? Amen. And, 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 you know, and the, the second son's attitude was just awful. Yeah. Amen. Toward his brother. Right. And, and listen, we need to be moved. Yeah. Amen. And I'm not talking in the flesh. 
but it should grieve our hearts when we see, amen, uh, saints, amen, that, that are trying, that, that, that their souls are being leached by a system. Amen. And it's not, amen, that we want to hurt anybody, but we need some healing in our day and age. Amen. We need some pure, amen, river of water of life. Amen. We need, amen, something real, amen, to worship. Amen. Not just, amen, these words in this Bible, but Holy Ghost anointed words. Amen. We need to worship the God that inspired this. Amen. Not the system. Amen. Amen. Now we're turning to uh, Exodus 4. Exodus 4. Amen. Amen. We're just going to close out with a couple of verses here. Amen. Verse 22 and verse 23. Amen. God is calling Moses here out of the burning bush. Amen. And he, and God is giving him instructions. Verse 22, it says, And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord unto unto Pharaoh, Thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son. Even my firstborn. Amen. 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 And I say unto thee, Let my son go. Amen. That he may serve me. Amen. Not the system. Amen. That he may serve me. Amen. Let him go. Amen. He goes on to say there, if if you don't let him go, I'll I'll slay your firstborn. Amen. If you you don't let him go, if you don't release the, the, the bondage, amen, that's on him. I'm, I'm going to take away, amen, your, your legacy. Amen. I'm going to take away, amen, the future of your kingdom even. Amen. I'm going to take away that future. Amen. Because Israel is my son. Amen. And my son was never meant, amen, to be in a position where, they, where, where they're just going from day to day. Amen. Going from service to service. Amen. Looking for some food and not finding it. Amen. When they need some help and can't get it. Amen. Amen. When you got young people. Amen. I got cousins. Amen. Amen. I'm certain if the church, amen, had ever been what it was supposed to be. Amen. They would not be in the world. Amen. They would not be in the world today. Amen. One of them. Amen. Is actually marrying a worldly wife. Amen. Today. Amen. I skipped his wedding to be here. Amen. Amen. Lord help us. Amen. But listen, listen. Amen. God taking us in another direction. Amen. Amen. Listen. Amen. God. Amen. Thank the Lord. (laughs) Amen. Amen. Listen. Israel's my son. You got to let him go. You got to be liberated. Listen, if you don't have liberty in the Spirit of God, amen, this morning, amen, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Amen. If you don't have liberty in your soul, amen, to shout, amen, to give praise to God, amen, amen, that you've been in Babylon too long. Amen. Saints of God, we've been in Babylon too long. Amen. It's time. Amen. The saints of God take their liberty and worship the living God. Amen. Thank the Lord. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for your attention. Amen. Yeah.